What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, it's some stuff going on on TikTok, well, every day. So we gon' we about to get into it. But it's this girl named Destiny. And apparently, she and her best friend was pregnant by the same man. I cannot make this up. Um, I'm looking for all the parts, but part one, I have to watch it on somebody else's TikTok. But the rest should be on her actual TikTok. We gonna do whatever it is that we need to do. Um, to get into the story because having you and your best friend sharing the same baby daddy and apparently they had a baby shower the same day. I don't know. Let's get into it because it's a lot going on. Me and my best friend. I don't know who shout is. I'm just trying to get to the story. I was pregnant by the exact same man at the exact same time and I never knew until she had a secret baby shower. Mm. <laughs> so I was dating this dude for like three years. Like we were together for like three years and me and my best friend have been best friends for way before that like 10 plus years right so um we end up getting pregnant at the exact same time and she ends up coming up with this story like she had a one night stand she don't know who her baby daddy is all these other things and like you know once first I of all no no I need to know what's going on and it is a possibility to not know your baby daddy but you gonna know something I'm your best friend her like are you going to keep it because i'm never going to push anybody to go to the clinic and send their baby back to god but i always ask because where's your mindset so i asked her like are you keeping the baby and she's like yeah and i'm like okay like you know like you know you're gonna be you know what you know what you can handle right so whatever we both go through our pregnancy we we're so excited we found out at the same time and it's getting closer to like our like six months and it's time to start planning our baby shower i have no clue all the way up until this point that me and her like i, I don't question it right so no i i love a a, a a nosy friend and i'm that one i'm the nosy friend because like why would you be a weird because people are weird so at the six months mark when we start planning our baby shower she's like i'm just not gonna have no baby shower i've just been going through it mentally emotionally so the whole time i'm thinking that she's down and out because she's having a baby by this man who, by somebody she don't know right just she's gonna be a single mom she said herself i ain't gonna lie that's a different type of trifling <laughs> to have a baby by the same dude it's like she don't know who baby daddy is nothing so i'm thinking that's why she's going through a whole time of bitch going through it because we got the same baby daddy Man. Like, oh, baby she told me she wasn't having a baby shower. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'll pop up at the baby shower. Guess who at the baby shower cheesing? Oh, y'all want me to knock all this shit out? Yeah. Story time on Yo, baby daddy. Okay, here we go. Part two. Not too much on my closure with this since y'all wanted a part two. Now boom, let me tell y'all how I got to the baby shower. So once I find out that She's having a baby shower. I check her location because Goof Troop didn't turn off her location, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, she had the baby shower at her granny house. So I pull up to her granny house. I'm thinking nothing of it. Just like, why are you being a weirdo, right? So when I pull up, I see my baby daddy's car because I know his license plate. Oh, damn. In the front yard. So I already just stopped, peep the scene. So I'm like, all right, hold on. Before I even walk into this morning, let me go around the corner and I end up calling my cousins because we ride at dawn. So I'll not, call not I had to call Cuzzo and had to ride around the corner to call Cuzzo. And you already in the car. <laughs> my cousins, they already on the way. They like 20 minutes out. I'll call my brother and tell my brother, you pull up too because I already know me. And if this nigga is in this baby shower, I don't even know what he would be doing here. I already know I'm going to put my hands on somebody and I shouldn't okay. put my hands on nobody at six months. So we need reinforcements. Or ever. I already don't get along with his mama. I don't get along with his sister. I do not with his family right because they weird i see his sister walking up oh this is a family full of goofies so i'm checking everybody's location and i see that they five minutes out so i'm like bet let me walk up in here because i don't want nobody to know that i'm walking in on no bs like they didn't need to know i was on that i was on absolute immediately on as i seen that man car like, they don't even need to know what's up so every I walk in through the back gate, and as soon as I walk in, I make eye contact with her, and she just get everybody look like they seen a ghost. Oh my God, I would have lost my mind. 
first of all, the worst thing is in the world is for everybody to know what's going on except your ass. <laughs> That's the most embarrassing thing in in this type of situation. So, I would have lost it. Oh my god! I look my baby daddy dead in the face. He get up and sprint out the side gate. Oh, we gonna stand on business today. You I, ran? What? I, I can bet you that. Hide to be chase. Chase him till he ran out of gas. I'm like, what's up? What my baby daddy doing here? And she like, oh. I'm so sorry. He told me he was gonna tell you something. I'm. It's not making sense. You tell me make what? Right the f so she's like, he told me that he was gonna tell you that we were having a baby. So the first thing I do is swing and hit her in the mouth. Oh so shit! Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> Hold on, yeah. So the first thing I do is hit her in the mouth. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta, I gotta record some shorts off this. Hold on, go ahead. Cause I'm not stopping. She's like, no. So now everybody trying to get me up off of her, and hold on, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. So now my cousins running. They just see that people got me by my arms. Oh, melee. Not too much on my clothes you're lifting since y'all wanted to part two. Yo, the fact that she said that she just hit her in her mouth is crazy. Okay, we're part three. Okay, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to find it. Part three. Part three. Okay, this would be part two. That's part four. Part six. Where is part three? You get what I'm saying? It's got to be it. Nobody knew but me. Y'all want Y'all, Y'all baby shower theme should have been a circus because it was a bunch of clowns. Damn. Melee. Instant. Instant mayhem. Instant chaos. So by the time whoever had my arm, which was, I think, his sister and his cousin, my cousins already came over and then knocked the Mario coins out their head because let her the f*** go. Right? So then... Not cuz on them none pulled up and none jumped on them too. Talk about ride or dies. She ended up running in the house and locking the door. So I couldn't even get to her no more. Don't worry about it though. So now I'm outside and my cousin's one of my cousins got her mama in the headlock because she was over there yapping, yapping her mouth. <laughs> Shut up. His mama trying to come up like, Destiny, Destiny, I suggest you get out of my face. You, mama, need to move. Because, see, you ain't my mama. Uh-uh, you his mama. You ain't on my side. Got me out here looking stupid as I would have been pissed. Why are you here? And where's your son at? Cause I'm gonna knock his head off his shoulders like the Volturi did Carlisle. <laughs> At this point, I don't know where my baby daddy then ran to, and I'm so confused because did you think he was gonna save you? My nigga, I can't believe he ran. And then he ran first. Be the first to put the head in, but the first to run too. Crazy. I'm about to beat both y'all ass. My family comes from a long line of crash outs. Ah. We've never been. So as we all leaving, I give my cousin my car keys and I hop in the car with my other cousin because I parked up the street and I cannot run. So they have pulled right up into the front of the house. So I hop in the car with my cousin. So I'm calling my brother because he never came in. I'm like, I'm like, where y'all, where y'all? He's like, we seen that nigga running out and he hopped in the car. So we chase, we, we chasing him down right now. Y'all, they on the freeway oh. following him. He trying to get away. So I'm like, y'all just dead it. Just, just the let it go. The freeway is crazy. He got to come home. <laughs> Family meeting at my house. So now at this point, I'm already knowing people about to try to start acting like I'm um, the problem. Like, oh, Destiny was tripping. Oh, she was tripping. She came in here and did all this, did all this. Ain't no way I'm the problem. Y'all should have just told me something so I ain't have to, you know what I'm saying? I still would have turned up, but at least we would have got it out the way. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm at home trying to trying to process because I still have not processed everything. So me and my cousins all go to my house and have a family meeting because I hope y'all beat everybody the <laughs> and I need to know who was there because I didn't pay attention to what homegirls was there who was just at my baby shower yesterday bringing a gift and not she had just the baby, baby shower the day before my best friend didn't come to my baby shower and then you had the nerve to have one and then you didn't cut off your come on now oh, yesterday with a gift everybody knew but me ain't no way alright we're going to the next part part 4
So after me and my cousins is there, we sat at my house for a couple hours just in case the police came. We were already all in one spot, but they never came. Nobody ever caught the police because they know that they was dead ass wrong. Okay. So fast forward to the next day. I was supposed to be at work yesterday. And I pull up to this girl granny house at a baby shower and you there and you run. I'm Ike. Still have no clue where this nigga went because i told my brother to just stop following him right so he ended up just coming to the house so during our family meeting we are going over what the fuck had happened we have <laughs> went over all the gifts and now i'm reading all the names of the people who bought the gift y'all his mama done bought the girl a gift his aunties his cousins his um sisters reading the gifts is crazy so she basically saying she know um everybody knew basically this girl was supposed to be the god mom. Bitch, you turned out to be the stepmama. Oh my. So I'm processing shit because y'all, this girl is like my best friend. I was supposed to be the god mom to her baby. And now I'm just oh. trying to figure out how the f did this go on under my nose? Like I had no idea, blindsided. I'm like, the way y'all is in these comments is how I was confused as f and I got questions. But lucky for y'all, I ask questions because one thing about me, you're going to have to make shit make sense. Okay. I'm going to be able to play my role enough because I beat your ass once. And I'm really going to beat your ass when you, I was really going to beat her ass when she had that baby. Mm. I wasn't going to hurt nobody's child. I still my baby sibling. Uh, uh, that is your baby's little brother. Your baby's little sister. So the next day she's blowing my phone the f up. Not you calling me. I'm not answering. I I went a whole day with her blowing my phone up because, like, at the end of the day, how could you do some weird shit like that to me? Not you, Ebony, from the Players Club? I'm ignoring them for, like, two days straight, everybody. If you wasn't with, uh, with me whooping ass at that baby shower, uh -huh. I had nothing to say to you. Do not call if you me. wasn't my family, I had nothing to say to you. Everybody, y'all some weird mother Do not call me. Do not like a post. Nothing. Leave me alone for somebody to die. Okay. I peep game and I want everybody fade when I drop this baby. And that's just what it's going to be. And I don't care. And I'm going to stand on that. So when the bitch come, when I finally answer the phone, the first thing she's going to say is, and your cousin put my mama in a headlock. We have bigger fish to fry. Hello? But nah, my mama is so after me and my cousins is there. We sat at my house for a couple hours just in case the police came. We were already all in. My mama in a headlock is crazy. Okay, that was part four. Where the hell is part five? Where is part five? Okay, because this is part six, two time. Part four. Fuck. What's this? Okay, I uploaded them wrong. I meant to put part five, but it really says part six, and then part six says the real part six. Let me tell y'all something. Okay, hold on. So after the chaos and after the go. mayhem. This is part five. Now the hurt is starting to set in because there's no way that my best friend of 10 years is telling me that she's about to have a baby by the same man I'm about to have a baby by. Because at the end of the day, uh, my friendship is way more important than my relationship with any nigga. And y'all, this was my friend. Like, I never expected. I never seen it coming. And even she when they was around you. She wasn't your friend, friend. It was never like that because, like, well, I'm not a weird bitch. So none of my homies have to watch me around that man because I don't want your man, especially after I hear and see the things that he do for you. So regardless of the, if you my friend and you hear me, even if I'm bragging on the sex, anything like that, that do not give y'all raggedy the right to go try. Stop bragging on the sex. Stop. It out for yourself. So what you saying? You let a nigga because he was fly? Because from our knowledge and us laughing and ha ha and kiki and you have been laughing at his, about his mama wigs right along with me and his grandma dentures. But you gonna go have a baby and they all at the baby shower, ha ha and kiki and so now- What gran granny dentures got to do with anything? And a nerve of granny and them to go to two baby showers. Granny and them messy as hell. Like, I am devastated. I don't know what to do. Come to find out, 
I'm thinking we she got pregnant after me. She two weeks pregnant. She two weeks in front of me. So you got her pregnant and then got me pregnant? Y'all, that's a different, like, when you think you've heard of all the trifling things in the world, something the next day just goes up a whole nother notch. Well, okay. I might Crazy. I still ain't talked to him. I still have not talked to him, so I'm just processing all this, processing all this. And I'm like, well, when did this happen and around what time frame? When did y'all even start around with each other so she was like it was about a year ago we was already two years into our relationship so two years ago i'm just going back and i'm like so it was around the time that you and your mom was getting into it and i was a lot and y'all been doing it for a whole year oh my god i was allowing you just to come stay at my house mind you me and my dude didn't live together at this time so he was just in and out too like, so it was just one day that she needed to go over there. And I'm like, oh, yeah, go over there. He over there. He'll open the door for you or whatever. I'm not a weird bitch. No, ma'am. That's another no, no. So I've never thought that I would have to watch my best friend of 10 years around my man, especially when you need me. Like, especially when I'm trying to help you have a better situation right now and get a peace of mind. You gonna get a peace of mind? So after the chaos and after the mayhem, now the hurt is starting to set. It be that vulnerability, y'all. When you so now I you vulnerable at the moment, they vulnerable at the moment, and you do some dumb shit. But to get pregnant too is just, oh my god. I'm hurt and devastated. I don't give a f about my cousin putting your mama in no headlock. She should have did more. And but now I'm hurt and I'm sad. So now it's like moving past the anger and everything that happened at the baby shower because now we need to get down to the bottom of this. Why would you do anything to hurt me? And I'm your best friend of 10 years. Him, why would you as my friend and know everything that I've been through and know everything that he put me through? So I really can't even wrap my head around the fact that you would even get pregnant by this man. So basically, nothing is making sense on the phone with her. Like She's trying to explain to me how she's so sorry. I don't give a fuck about an apology. No apology is going to... Not, not when you started off with the headlock. <laughs> you ain't sorry. This. We're no longer going to be friends, but I'm going to sit on this phone. And I'm going to listen to everything you got to tell me. So why did you lie about your baby shower? Why did you tell me that you were not having a baby shower? And why the f would you have a baby shower the day after? And why... Well, that's for obvious reasons, friend. You wasn't invited. In the did nobody tell me like y'all was really just playing in my face which is why i resulted into what i did at the baby shower and i apologize because looking no 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 you don't need to apologize for that i don't even want to hear it <laughs> please could have did more back that was not the route that i should have taken i should not have stolen all your gifts you're not getting them back but that was wrong i was wrong for that but my reaction what well, made him wait a minute friend. <laughs> definitely was wrong for stealing the gifts but like, I'm telling her, like, can you imagine pulling up to your best friend baby shower and you see your man car out there and then you walk in and he got his hand on your stomach? Smiling. Oh, OK. So we end up having that conversation and it really got us nowhere because it was really a lot of her not trying to take no accountability for what she did. And not, and not ain't nothing to talk about. Uh, Y'all should have never been on the phone. I'm thinking that she was wrong and really trying to put the blame on him. So now I'm asking her, like, was it worth it? Was it worth a 10-year friendship having a baby by somebody who you don't even know is going to be there? First of all, then she throws in this plot twist. I didn't know if it was him or not. This, you are something else. She's like, I was just trying to wait to see if that was him for real. Just, come on. Not you're a whore. <laughs> Mind y'all, all this is happening and we're, I'm still, we're still six months pregnant, six and a half months pregnant going into our seventh month. We still have so much more time in between this baby shower and the birth of the baby. From that day that me and her talked, no more communication has been had until... Later, after the baby is born. We're going to get to that. So me and her stopped talking. And now, fast forward, because I still have not talked to him in like, now we're on like day four. I have not talked to him or heard from him. Oh, I thought you were going to say four months or something. He calls me. Oh! 
So now I'm hurt and devastated. I don't give a f about my cousin. Y'all, where the hell part seven at? Ah, here we go. So I'm seeing all the videos from Chris Brown first show in Detroit, and I was not Wait a minute, that ain't it. Seven. So I hope y'all didn't think I was going to answer on the first ring, because he had me f***ed up. This is day four. This is day four. What are you even calling me for? I answered on the fifth. So when I finally answered the phone, no caller ID because homie, you're blocked. I blocked him immediately after I sent out a mass group text to him, his mama, and his sister. I will never understand why people get in the car, get on, cut the music up, and talk about something that we are interested in. I'm sick of it. Sisters and his granny calling him all some weird ass. Y'all all some weird ass that y'all knew what was going on and y'all was just smiling in my face at my baby shower the day before and bringing my baby gifts. Now all the gifts, you might as well have the nerve of them to go to her. I was wondering if they actually did go to her baby shower. That's some trifling. I would have had to tell them. I would have had to. I'm snitching. You have just bought the gifts you was going to get it out to my baby shower because I got them now. Now he like, you blocked me. I'm so sorry, Destiny. I did not want you to find out like this. How the f did you want me to find out? Now I'm in straight mode because you should have caught me four days ago now you didn't gave me time to let my sadness turn into anger so now you about to get all this smoke because how the f did this even wait friend you said we was angry first then we went to sad now we don't went sad don't went back to anger happened you having project twins jody so he so now i'm asking questions y'all he immediately starts crying i don't have I don't want to hear shit you have to say. Sir, save them tears. Hey, what's wrong with you? I don't have shit to say. When that girl dropped that baby, I'm going to beat her ass. And I dare you to be at the hospital when she delivers. I can't believe you doing me like this. You really was acting like you didn't even want to be with me. Not, Not friend going to the hospital. <laughs> Gaslighting. Oh, my God. He crying, begging, pleading. I don't want to lose my family. I don't want to lose my family. I don't want her. It was an accident. It was a mistake. You're a mistake. Now I'm like, so why, why did you do it? Like what, what in your right mind made you say, you know what? This nigga want some ass, friend. <laughs> Sorry, want some ass. Yeah, I'm about to f with this girl. <laughs> did did y'all not talk about getting an abortion? He's like. She didn't tell me she was pregnant until she was already four months. So she tricked your goofy ass. Do you think that this y'all know? I'm like, so you, so. Remember that happened because she thought she was pregnant by one of the, uh, somebody else too. I think she was just all discombobulated trying to figure that out. I hope you're going to get a DNA test because if she, Not me on her side. She didn't tell you until she was four months pregnant. Why the f*** you think that is? The fact that this girl would, would even with you and that's my that was my best friend of 10 years you think that are you so you stupid then i needed to understand what prompted his goofy ass to take his dumb stupid raggedy ass over there to that baby shower and start cheesing y'all was in love oh y'all and then had your granny over there and your mama over there as soon as i pull up you ran I was in love, but you telling me she a mistake over here crying crocodile tears. I like. So I'm like, who initiated it? How did this start? She came on to me. Okay. So you're saying she came on to you and she's saying that you came on to her. So whose teeth do I need to knock out first? Think it's cool to play in my face? Like you think this both of them? If you ask me, though, I think it was him. But I will say, majority of the time, it's the woman. Niggas be whole lot minding their business. I'm talking about playing the PS5. <clears throat> you talking about, oh, yeah, girl, just go over to my house. My man over there, he, he, he chilling, though. He over there, meat kind of hanging low because he just at the crib, you know what I'm saying? Probably shirtless, how wife beat or something going on. And then 
you know, she get to asking stupid ass questions. <laughs> you got a friend up at me? You think you can like that? Get to testing a nigga, and then next thing you know, he sliding dick up in. <laughs> cool, you think because I'm six months this over? Because I have a compartment in my head labeled weird, and I promise I will not forget this. So I hope y'all didn't think I was going to answer on the first ring. A compartment labeled weird. Okay, what part ain't that though, friend? Wait, this this say seven two though. Okay. <laughs> It's Chris Brown thing still. I can't even live my normal life because y'all feel like I should be uploading these videos back to back to back. Y'all don't treat Netflix like this. Yeah, we do. Y'all don't treat um, power like this. Don't do me like that. The next video will be uploaded by 4.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for the people on the East Coast who think that I'm on their time. I'm not on your time. <laughs> the DNA test was done. <clears throat> Not stars in the comments talk about they catching strays. <laughs> I made Hilarious. sure of it. I didn't give a damn. Y'all keep saying how'd y'all get the gifts? When she wasn't, when she had ran in the house and locked herself in the house after I had popped her in her mouth. I already have made up my mind, y'all. My mind, I just, my mind just goes, okay? So I already have made up my mind. We taking all of this shit. I'm knocking everything over. Y'all don't think I knocked everything over? Food, you knocked everything over. Candy table. Okay. Gift table. We gonna knock that over, but it's gonna be empty. Grab all this shit. I'm yelling, get the gifts. Get the <laughs> gifts. Okay, we're going to jail. We're going to jail. Y'all, we gotta get up out of here. Everybody grab some gifts and everybody grab gifts, which means. So here she is over here, giftless as hell. <laughs> Stupid. They came and we already knew the assignment. It, it it don't take much. We be on one accord. We be on one accord. One band. Shout out to Cuz on them. One sound. I can't even live my normal life. Because Shout out to Cuz on them. So I guess we not getting eight. I don't know. So Crystal ended up having her baby. A week. Hold on. Matter of fact, this is nine, but this is the same sports bra. So maybe. Uh -uh. This ain't the results. I need y'all to come in here and sit down. And Okay, never mind. Uh. So Crystal ended up having her baby a week early. I ended up having my baby right on time, like right at the mark, right? So our babies are now three weeks apart. Everybody was at the hospital. Her mama was, his mama was at the hospital. His sisters was at the hospital. His granny was at the hospital. Just real fake. Guess who wasn't at the hospital though? Him. Him. Because during no contact, that he's still trying gone. to get his family back. He's still like, I, need, I want my family back. Please, I want to try. I want to try. Y'all sending me gifts. He talking about, I know I need to build the baby crib. My brother already did it. Bitch. So he knew better than to be at that birth, right? Which means the baby. So now you can't even see your own babies? This is stupid. He has his last name. But his name is not on that birth certificate. Because I, I doubled I double dog dare you. I don't care if you ain't talked to me in 15 months. I dare you. Poor My children. Y'all, we was going to name our babies the same middle name. Change that much. So I'm already peeping all of this. They're already posting everything on Facebook. I'm seeing the pictures. Oh, y'all holding the little baby. I'm not going to call that baby ugly, but I'm not going to call the baby cute. <laughs> I did feel a little guilt, and I, I did have to ask God for forgiveness because I didn't have to steal that baby gifts. That baby really was an innocent bystander in all this. But your mama is a... So, I <laughs> peeped all of this before I even got into labor. Mind y'all, me and him have went no contact. But I'm never going to be raggedy because I know that you my baby daddy for sure. So, I call him, and I'm like... He like, hello? I'm on my way to the hospital. All right, Des, I just... Are, are you sure? Click. I'm on my way to the hospital. Okay. Up you or coming or not? I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to skate with you. Hell wrong with you. with you. I don't want to do nothing. We got in common. Is this, we just related to the same baby. So now he in there and I'm just asking him questions. So I'm like, so did you go see the baby? We just related to the same baby. He, and he like, yeah. And I don't expect him to be no deadbeat because you lay down and make a baby. You need to make sure that you're a father to that child. Even though you raggedy as all the f in the world, you're raggedy. Okay. But you need to go. You need to go be a good dad. Like that's the least you can do is be a good dad. You're raggedy in all aspects of being a man. So be a great dad. So 
whatever i'm in labor i'm only in labor for like 12 hours so when the baby come the he looked me dead in my only is crazy Jason was like so are we still gonna name him a junior i don't mama baby daddy's maybe okay alone. <laughs> compartment in my head labeled shit so everything that i'm seeing i'm just storing because i'm not gonna forget shit. now i had the baby Fast forward. Fast forward for about the baby's about three months. I don't see nobody. I'm just in my mode. Oh so like, my, did you upload this twice? I don't got time. I don't got time. I don't got time. Right. So fast forward three months, and everybody thinks she, she sweet. He he come see my baby, but like we're literally co-parents. I do not play that. Um, we gotta be be together to co-parent. Okay. Come get come come get your baby. And then bring my baby to fuck back. Come get caught. I don't have time. Back. I'm trying to go outside. Mm -hmm. So in this three months of time, I guess they ended up falling out because some dude had ended up writing him on Facebook like, I seen the baby and I just want you to know that I feel like the baby looked like my daughter. And I'm going to- you ain't even no dirty. Oh! Get a DNA test. And I want to get a DNA test because me and her was messing around and she- she had hit me up and told me that maybe I was the dad. Mind y'all, he telling me all this because he's still trying to get his family back. Like, I really don't give a f but I, I know you, so what? I was definitely wondering who told her. <laughs> because regardless, I was going to make him get a DNA test, but I had to stand on... I couldn't make him at that point because I didn't want him to, to even give him any hope of... Y'all getting back together. Getting his family back together because, yeah. like I said, we're just related to the same baby. But I'm also just nosy and also, like, you shouldn't be taking care of no kid that's not yours. And so before uh -uh, you I can get... Uh-uh. Well, I don't care about that part. Uh-uh, friend. You still want him. Even get the DNA test, the other dude, she already had tried to file for child support. But since he did not sign the birth certificate, she had to get a DNA test. Through child support mm. so they got the dna test now we in we going into the results come back like now we four months in and the dna test results came in okay is he the daddy or not nine get y'all snacks i want to know the dna test results and i want to know why the mavericks got their ass beat like that by the boss of celtic yesterday in game one and do lady we don't give a damn about no mavericks <laughs> This ain't the results. I need y'all to come in here and sit down and just listen to the story. Okay. And if you're not going to just come in here and sit down and listen to the story, and you're going to be loud with your opinion. I don't even mind that. What I do mind is when y'all in here loud and wrong. Oh. You're not going to be loud and wrong and lying on me. First of all, to that lady who is over there making up her own story inside of my story and adding shit that never came out of my mouth because it's my story. Who's trying to tell people, oh. I don't want to go over there. Now she's telling people they need to pay her for another part. That's not what the fuck I said. So let's clear that up real quick. I'm not any, if I'm making money in the creator program. Is that, drama within the drama? That's my business. Just like <clears throat> if you wanted to retell this story and make money in your creator program, which is why you retold the story is to make money in the creator funds. Okay. I'm not going to count your pockets. Get your money by all means. Everybody can eat. So uh, have money for everybody. But what you're not going to do is tell people that I'm... I'm telling people they need to pay me for another part. That's not what I said. I don't... Don't lie on me. I don't like that. I said... Okay. They wanted me to upload part after part after part. I have a job. I clock in. And if you want me to sit up and do this all day, you're going to have to pay me to take off work. That's a fact. Why y'all acting like y'all don't be telling... Niggas don't be like, hey, I'll pay, I'll pay you to take off work today. Don't, we're not going to act like... We're not going to act like that's not a thing. Um, didn't bad. I tell y'all my cousins right at dawn? We're going to jump you in the comments. Me and my cousins <laughs> are writing. Y'all could think we didn't steal the gifts, but I told y'all we come from a long line of crash outs. And it ain't never nothing. Now, I know y'all thought I was going to tell y'all the results in this video, and I told y'all we are on a commercial break. It'll be uploaded at midnight. I'll see y'all then. I'm about to go get my closure glued back down. Oh, and yeah, I was going, I ain't going to. My wait. eyelashes filled because. Because I ain't got I, time for the cousins. I was crying because I reached 100K. Thank you. All glory to God. All glory to God. Uh -uh.
Yes, I love her. Okay. It ain't it again? Girl! No! This isn't the results. Rebel gives you wings! Let me tell you how I just got from my house to my eyelash appointment in 15 minutes it was supposed to take me 30. I am going to beat the GPS every single time. Well, that closure back down. What she said was she was about to get her another coin right quick. And that's what she did. Okay. So let's fast forward two years real quick. And what? Remember when I told you I got a compartment in my head labeled weird shit and I don't forget nothing. So two years pass and everybody think everything died down. And what the fuck is the gender? What's the gender? She posts her man. Now, y'all also remember when I told y'all I had cousins that ride at dawn? I sent some riders over there. And now it's time for your chest to hurt. And regardless of what the results were, it was up. Like, I was, it, I, it was never, and stuck. It was never anything. That's not his baby. Can you, you just say like, that? You, you betrayed me. You went behind my back and you did a whole bunch of foul stuff. Right. She tried. And you think me. that I'm just going to forget about it? I'm going to forgive you for me, but forget? I'm going to get my lick back. Got it. I'm going to get my lick back every time. Got it. What did you do all this for? All of this, everything that she did was done for nothing. Everything that he did, he lost his family. He was crying, blowing my <laughs> phone up, no caller ID. Stop calling me. You're not getting your family back. You, I had to do so much healing and growing. Then I would... Me and my cousin. He wasn't a daddy. He wasn't a daddy. Then still in the midst of it, getting into it with the family because now they got out to say, uh uh, stand 10 toes down. Why y'all getting into it with her? That was y'all best friend. Remember, y'all was at the baby shower. Y'all bought her. Oh, not the family turning on her now. Yes, y'all should be thanking me that I took him. You welcome that you didn't give a stranger danger baby them gifts. Now you can't see your grandchild. This... Talking about TT baby. Maybe. Seren and he he is not the dad you telling me that you had a woman that it seemed like you was probably in love with got her pregnant her best friend come over there you tap that ass too but not only once maybe for a year okay which no longer that takes away the accident mistake or whatever you men say. <clears throat> and then you get your baby shower crashed. You run like a b and your ass ain't even a damn father. Oh my God. That man was right. That baby looked like his daughter. And it ain't my place to be messy and tell nobody business. I promise I'm not here to tell nobody business of mine. But I did hear it through the grapevine because, you know, we did have mutual friends. The only weird bitch that knew along with that weird bitch was her other friend that she was really close to who I didn't fuck with anyways. I, I'm really, I could peep energy. And just because that's your friend don't mean it got to be my friend. Like, we could be friends, but I don't got to be that bitch friend. And that was why Dang. he ended up having to take her to court. And file for 50-50 because after the DNA test came back, she was like, I'm not giving you my baby. You don't know the baby. It's your fault he don't know the baby. It's your fault he don't know the baby. Wait, what? So, so yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know why y'all think I'll be sitting here telling y'all anything. <sighs> if that was his baby. Wait, what? Y'all seen there's a thin line between love and hate? So let's fast forward two years real quick. I'm confused. I knew he wasn't the dad. You know what? Because now I'm I'm just confused. Hold on, because somebody in my comments must know my life better than me. And I think they think that the results is going to change. So let me redo it like they said. They said I still have time to redo it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And when it comes to four-month-old Kaden, read. You are not the father. Like... He still was not the dad. Okay, thank you. He for still was trying to me. get back with me. Yes, I did do a lot of things that I prob that I probably shouldn't have done. Like, yes, I did bust the window. Yes, I did flatten three of his tires because if you flatten all four, he can claim an insurance claim. <laughs> FYI. Yes, I did do that. Yes, me and my cousins went and TP'd his mama house. 
Yes, me and my cousin went and knocked his mama mailbox over. Oh, yes, no, 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 don't admit stuff like that. That's a federal crime. No, that's a federal crime. She tripping. Then what I do, what I, do I take any of it back? No, would I do it again? Absolutely. And I also did find a message in my baby daddy phone. And before y'all think that I went through his phone, I did not go through his phone. He had ended up giving it to me. 11, and I was, 11 in the jet. I was looking for something and I ended up in the messages. I don't even know how I got there. Four, four, she texted him talking about, I just want to apologize. I never meant to hurt you. I really thought that this was um, your baby. I really thought we had something special. This, this, that, and the other. And he going he gonna to react to the message with a heart. Damn. And that's when I reacted and karate chopped him right in his neck. Because I will rip your lips off your face. Uh -huh. I, I was pissed the fuck off because y'all did all of this shit for nothing. Literally, all the hurt that was caused was yeah. for no reason. All because you wanted this man to be your baby daddy and why he's raggedy. And you knew that. If I could run, I would. Now everybody's trying to apologize to me, but y'all already moved weird. <clears throat> you already move weird. Yeah, Once everybody will have to save them apologies and all that. Save it. Save it. If you're a certified weirdo to me, there's no coming back from that. Like, keep your apology. Please keep your apology because it's not for nobody but you. I don't want it. Hold on, because somebody in my... Yep. Keep going, thank you. Good morning. While my videos are going out, I just want to say... Uh-uh. Not all that music. All right, y'all. That was good. That was good. It was short and it was sweet. Mm -hmm. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. And find me some other TikTok <clears throat> situations. I need them. I'm trying to get this Brene one together. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I don't want to just react to somebody's YouTube video and they be mad and get the strike in my I ain't got time. So we're going to figure out this Brene situation. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. I don't think y'all did no wrong. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.